Hey guys, we're at Barbecue Pit Stop today here in Lehigh, Utah. Beautiful mountains in the background, about 72 degrees. Today the guys are going to be competing in baby back ribs, ribeye steak, and Cornish game hands. Let's begin. Yeah. Steak selection. Oldest to youngest. B. And the winner, the winner right here, chicken dinner. It's your boy Smith Dog. We're coming to you live from Lehigh, Utah. We're a barbecue pit stop. We're in parking lots. We're cooking meats. We're cooking ribs. We're cooking corn game hands. You name it, baby. Come on down to Barbecue Pit Stop and get you some barbecue today, baby. <laughs> All these seasoning, what I'm doing on these ribs, I'm gonna let the ribs be my, be my presentation. They're gonna be the show. Not sauce, not wrap, not sugars. That's gonna be the show. <laughs> nice and light, and the W will look already. You're gonna see it start sweating. The salt's gonna start pulling out the proteins and the moisture from inside those proteins. It's gonna come to the surface and create a balance. It's that's it. Easy. Quick and not too much. Make it simple. You know, sometimes a lot of flavors are complicated when you're adding this and this. You don't even know why. It's just because somebody did it on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Salt and pepper. Some studio pit master it out on That's it. That's it, baby. There it is. Hey, we're in a parking lot. We're making it happen. No studio here. This is real. Absolutely. All day. Awesome. So another one of our competitors, Curtis Nations from Utah Barbecue. That's right, that's right. So we're here. We're going to get ready for the little rib competition. we got some baby backs here. They look great. Um, I always like to start on the back, so we're just going to get going. Okay. What I like to do for a contest is I'm only going to turn the ribs from about right there to right there, so I don't I don't like to put anything on the smoker that I'm not going to use. It takes a lot longer to cook, so I'm going to cut these first few bones off of there. So yeah, I'm gonna cook me eight ribs out of this whole thing just because I know that's what I want to cook. So I wouldn't. Now when I go to make this and made, uh, I'll pay a guy to do this. It's a lot easier. Get a whole other animal. Oh yeah, he comes in with a bone saw and cuts you down right there, so you don't have to angle and sit flat. It's unreal how much you can cook. Yeah, it's a whole. He trims all this dark meat off the top for me, so that it's all right on the I don't use any kind of binder. I don't think they need it. A lot of guys will use mustard or oil. I think that just kind of creates a layer between the meat and the rub. You don't have to work through it. I really like the color of the color. It does have a very nice color. The salt in that is going to penetrate that meat for you too. Very cool. Awesome. My name is Vidal uh, Soria. I'm with the Utah Barbecue Company, right of Lehigh, Utah. So we're doing the steak throw down here with uh, the SEA. So we selected our steaks, and now we're just going to go ahead and trim them up, season them up, and get them ready for the smoker. Um, probably be hitting the smoker about 45 minutes or so. So. So I'm gonna do some of steak and go from there. So you're gonna put them in the smoker first? Yeah, I kind of do something a little bit different. Actually, first first thing I do is I give it a nice sear, then finish them off with the smoker, kind of get the best of the two worlds. I think. What we're doing here is just taking half off the fat around the edges, I'm trying to make more more appealing presentation. And all we're really doing is just taking all the big chunks of fat on the outside, stuff that never really gonna cook down or render out. I always think it's easier to take a small cut rather than a big cut and then just kind of chip away at it if you want. So what we're doing here is just taking off all the fat around the edges. I'm trying to make a more, more appealing presentation. And all we're really doing is just taking all the big chunks of fat on the outside. Stuff that never really gonna cook down to render out. First thing I like to do is just go ahead and make all the, the big cuts and then go in and do all the the final cut at the end. So I always think it's easier to take a small cut rather than a big cut and then just kind of chip away at it. Alright, 
So now you're, is this your rib your ribeye that you're gonna turn in? Yes. Really? Why do you do the one you like first? Because usually by the time I get to the second one, I'm kind of done with it. You've lost so interest by the. There you so go. I usually take a little bit of time and first one goes Okay. Oh, that's good too. Are you a fan of leaving that tail on or taking it off? I like to take it off. If there's a lot of meat in it, do you ever leave it on, or do you, you always? Yes. At home, go ahead. No. No. Okay. So today, Fidel, you got second in the steak cook-off, missed by 0.1. 0.1, that's kind of just kicking the gut. So but, close. But I, you know the great thing is, you get to do it all over again. Yes. You know, go ahead and hit it, turn it, turn it, turn it, it's a good time. I'm yeah. excited. Smitty's back there getting ready. You know it, cooking with our barbecue family is what we do, have a good time. We cook meat in the parking lot, right? That's exactly what we do. What do you think, Smitty? It's a little golden, beautifully delicious. Coming along nicely. I want to get that skin a little bit more crisp, so leave them on for a little bit, then we'll figure the skin out after that's done. Looking good, got your ribs. ribs starting to get tender on me. See, they, see when I pick them up, when they start to smile, they're getting happy. <laughs> Five thirty turn in. Thank you. See? You happy with them? So far I am. So I'm gonna let it go it's about another hour or so before I wrap it. Okay, perfect. So I'm Is that fear I see over there? Nope. They taste good, they look good. You know what I taste? What's that? Pork. Pork. Taste pork. That's what you want to taste on your ribs. I'm not trying to taste all the sauce and all that stuff. I want you to taste beautiful, awesome pork ribs. Good looking display, brother. Wow. That smoke ring coming through. It's a nice mahogany color, the bones popping out. That's what I'm looking for. You're okay. All right, you're done. <laughs> Might be your last box you ever did together. So it's, it's weird though, because we're used to doing KCBS events. So if you're late, you're late. There is no exception. You know that that uh, time's up, flip the clock, and you're done. So I, if I had a little bit more time, I would have definitely 
taking a little bit more time to clean up the, the box. I think the box is pretty clean up the edges. I'm not trying to have the best view of the day, but we turn in, <laughs> we made all turn ins and it's not pretty in the box. Which is and the ribs ready to wrap. A bit of Texas pepper jelly for some spice. Butter, brown sugar, agave. Lots of sweet going on here. Sweet with a little bit of heat. Never heard that phrase. Not in Utah. My prettiest, but it'll do. Who has my prize money? I oh, okay. <laughs> There's Mother's Day gift. <laughs> That's not a Corona, is it? I'm gonna take it. It's not. It is not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a that corona. would have been a good one again. Is that or you? Okay. Yep. Okay. 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 Got the guys are actually sharing a grill here. Teamwork. Makes the dream work. Thank you, sir. Getting a little stressed, are you? Just a little bit, but we should just come in the parking lot, baby. Right, right. Oh, is that how we turn in? Okay, I thought we had yeah. to do something. You had to dance like Did that. Did you dance? No, I didn't. Damn, points off. Points, points off. off. Points, points off for points you, off. man. Showdown. Wards time. We're going to do state. Okay. Third place. Ticket number 219. Wait. Right here. Third place. You got top three, baby. Yes. Yeah. All right. Second place is state. 2-1. 9-5. Yes. That First place is by 0.6. 0.6? Oh, hey, hey, we did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, my four! Nice work, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. First game in. It's true. Yeah. All right, first place. Ticket number 2197. Just kidding. 2192. That's me. I know when you guys broke up the fire. Oh, my God. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh. 